Number 15 and 16. <laughs> this fun. Find in the measure in the figure angle one is congruent to angle two. Find the measures of the congruent angles. So we know that this angle is the same as this angle, isn't it? That means this edge is equal to this edge. This is an isosceles triangle, isn't it? First thing we need to do is get this little bitty angle here. So if you add these two up, you get 135. Subtract from 180 and you would get 45. Now then this plus this is 155, isn't it? This has got to add to 155 to get 180, doesn't it? So 180 minus 155 would be 25. So angle one is 25. That means angle two is 25. 25 and 25 add up to 50. This has to subtract from 180 because it's a triangle. And angle three would be 130, wouldn't it? So angle one would be 25. Angle two would be 25. And angle three would add up to 130. These would all add up to 180 in that triangle, wouldn't they? Ho, 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 ho. Okay, a triangle DFG and FGH are isosceles. That means that's equal to that, that's equal to that, that checks. FDH is equal to 28, which is that angle. DG is congruent to FG and is congruent to F. So the, all three of these sides are the same. Ooh. If this is 28, this angle is 28, right? So go ahead and put that. This angle is going to add to these to give us 180, isn't it? So 28 and 28 is 56. Subtract from 180. You get 4. That's going to be 7. 124. This will be 124. That means this is supplementary. Subtract from 180, and you would get, what, 56. This is an alternate or exterior angle to those two, isn't it? If this is 56, this is 56. You would get 112 if you added those two up. Subtract from 180 and you would get 68, so this would be 68. I went through that real quick, okay? So this is gonna be the same as this. This plus this plus this have to be 180. This plus this is 180. These two angles are the same, because it's isosceles. This plus this plus this has to add up to 180. So DFG, DFG is 28. FGH, FGH is 56. DGF, DGF is 124, and GH, GFH, GFH is 68 in it. 